Welcome, welcome everybody. I think I got quite a game here to show y'all. Uh, there is some debate in the community about how OP or not OP the Germans are. And personally, just going to put it out there, I'm on the Germans are OP side of things. Um, <clears throat> not as extreme as some people say. But I think they are a little bit stronger than some people like to pretend. And that's what that's what I kind of hope to show here. Using basically one unit. Uh, so I'm playing as Germans, obviously, against the Spanish. And yeah, it's going to be a pretty fun game. Doing a market start here somehow. So this villager, this annoys me so much. This villager walks over here. He goes and he, boop, gets inside the market and gets stuck. Like, what the heck, man? <laughs> so now I have a villager stuck. Sometimes this game just annoys me. Oh my. But we just got a um, hunting dog start. Got a 50 wood treasure, so it worked really well just to buy. Uh, I just gathered coin and bought 100 wood. And then gathered 50 more coin and got hunting dog. So that worked out really well. Things are a little bit quiet. There we go. Let's see what our opponent's doing, though. He's playing Spanish. Does he have a deck yet? Very rod-heavy deck. He's got all the cards here for them. Uh, seven Rodoleros. Not too much. Not not too uh, not too strange of a, a deck. Maybe not Liberation March, but Liberation March oftentimes okay. So, not too bad. TP start. Does he have the church card? Yeah, he's got the church card. But pretty pretty standard starts on both of us. Just going for treasures here. Yeah. I get this very nice 100 wood treasure. I like This is one of my favorite maps just because the wood treasures and stuff. It's just super helpful. Also, I apologize if I talk weird. I'm having a weird noise going on. <clears throat> and I'm not sure what that's for. But that's okay. One thing that is true, though, is that <laughs> this card is the greatest card in the game. I'm going to be honest. Six villagers and two Ulans. That's just insane to me. And partially what I think, actually, partially, yeah, what I think is OP about the Germans is just how powerful Ulans are. And that, that's really what this game's going to be about. Because if you know, I've been, I've been doing a little, kind of a mini-series almost. Uh, looking at how powerful shock troopers are. It's really been two videos. I showed how OP uh, Coyote runners are and that was in a free-for-all although I've shown that in 1v1s as well and uh, Or that was a 2v2v2 I showed that but I have shown that in 1v1s as well It's just how how freaking OP Coyote runners are and then I did one with Showtel warriors threw them straight into Halbs and won that game that was crazy and Today I wanted to take a look at Ulans and see if they were OP because there's some discussion on the Sun Bros Discord, I believe, server. Uh, there's discussion on there about, uh, like, basically the higher damage the cavalry is. Even though his HP is lower, the more important it is. <coughs> so I just delete the vill there because uh, I, I, I might should have, I was really just annoying me because I had the idle thing and I didn't want to delete this. I thought the upgrades there would be more important than one bill, so that was rough. Stupid game just trying to screw me over, though. Getting placer mines. I'm going very heavy on coin here because I'm going to try to get out a batch of Ulans age 2. And it is way easier to get out a batch of Ulans as, like, Germany than, like, being British and getting out a batch of, uh, of Hussars right away. Uh, just due to them being a lot cheaper. If you know, Ulans uh, cost only 100 coin 50 food instead of uh, instead of the 120 food and 80 coin? It's either 80 or 60. I think it's 80. I'm going to lose my lady here. Probably should have waited to age up to start attacking this. But I'm literally, I get one hit away from winning this, I think. Yeah, one hit, and I would have had it, but she dies. And then he gets the XP from that. So that was some crazy micro on his part. 
700 coin, 700 wood, standard Spanish start. He aged up with the 200 coin and the outpost. He's got a market, steel traps, hunting dogs, normal stuff. 130 XP, that's pretty good. How many bills is he at? 17. He's at 17 bills. I'm at 15 plus 8 because I sh shipped uh, 3 first. So I'm at, I'm pretty far ahead on the uh, the bills, even though I'm lower down on score. He went for another TP as well. So 1 TP versus 2 TPs. Got the Ulans here. I got a batch of 5 coming out. So I'm going to have 7 Ulans here, age 2. Which is, uh, what is this? Almost six minutes. I have really good eco, though, so it's it's not the fastest, but it's a pretty nice nice little army. I'm just going to pick off both of those easily. <coughs> Excuse me, I still... I had this really bad sickness, and I just cannot get over this cough. It's just, it's rough, guys. It's rough out here. But going in with seven Ulans... And I have 300 coin, and I'm shipping 700 coin. I should be able to age up to age 3 here pretty qu pretty, pretty quickly. And what is, he? what is he? Okay, he's aging up. He's shipping 7 rods. He's getting a barracks down. He saw my Ulan, so that's why he's going for rods. Very smart play. He's got all these coming in, so not bad, not bad. Seven rods come out perfect timing with my Ulans right here, but I'm gonna be able to pick off some bills I probably should have run those back here quicker. Let's see what I can see Yeah, I did see these I should have gotten them back there quicker kind of wasting some over here, but I get off What was that one two three? Four bills so I get four vill kills right there. He's only at 14 bills uh, while I'm at 20 Eight. That's a massive difference right now. My eco is just absolutely wrecking his. He definitely should have called his bills into this TC there. Um, I lost saw resources in those nine Ulans, but I'll trade. Yeah, I'll trade that any day, any day for those bills. He still got seven bills left. I'm aging up with the skirmishers. He should be about aged up himself. Yeah, he's a good bit faster than me here. On Egypt. Going back heavy on coin because I want to get all more Ulans. I also need 200 wood because I want the veteran upgrade as quickly as possible. So I'm going to pair the veteran Ulans with the obviously shadow teched skirmishers, is the hope. Hmm, I'm like trying to defend myself. I was like <laughs> trying to get bills out here, but habits, habits. He did age up with a TC, which isn't bad. If you're down on Vils, that's not that's not bad. He's got 10 rods here only. Definitely want more than that. Good place for a TC. I, but actually, I'd put that TC up here. Um, since just going off of what does ha end up happening, I'm going to put that TC up there. I could have got my explore up. That was kind of silly of me. I can't see too much here. I could have run one Ulan and she would have gotten all this, but you know, more explored a lot of that. Yeah, he's just building out rods. Rods, they cost a fairly good amount of coin for anti, for like a, a hand infantry. I guess Halbs cost 70 coins, so really it's not that bad. Really it's not that bad. But this is just gonna, this is gonna be insane because I'm building Ulan Skarmisher and he's building lots of rods. So, <laughs> we'll just see how that plays out. Nine Ulan shipment is my first card. That's just, that the fact that that's a thing is crazy. I'm getting the veteran Ulans in, and I'm starting to train more. I'm going to have to keep my house production up, because obviously these, these things cost a lot of pop. Like, each shipment does, so that it's just crazy out there. House goes down. How many bills is he at now? 23... I'm at, uh, I'm at 21 plus 8, 29, so 23, so I'm 6 bills ahead pretty much, but I do have placer mines, so I might be 8 bills ahead, I don't think he has placer mines, we don't got a capture age, so you know there's that, so I'm at 
what, nine Ulans plus six Skirms, and that's 14 Ulans ship, eight Skirms, and that's plus four Ulans as well. And I'm gonna clear up all these rods and not lose a single Ulan. And it's really important, more so for Ulans than like Hussars, to keep them alive because you need that DPS. Uh, so Ulan Micro is way more important than even like lots of other, um, <clears throat> than many other Cav, uh, like Cav Micro to me. There we go, get out that nice batch. And there we go, 19 Veteran Ulans. Uh, six skirms, about to get eight more skirms. Nine more skirms? Eight more skirms and four more Ulans. So we got a really nice mass here. And we're at ten minutes. What's the what's the timing for the Purashiki? I forget. Like eight minutes? Maybe it's twelve minutes. I feel like twelve minutes is in my head, but that's for something. Maybe not the Purashiki. I'm not sure. But it's really not too bad of a mass. 20, 44 hand attack is just insane for like an age 3 cavalry. He's getting out this stable, I assume? I, I think that's for Lancers. He saw the skirms. So he's going to try to go rod Lancer. And what is, how many has he got here? He's building a batch of 3. He's got 19 right now, which isn't bad. And he ships, yeah, 5 Lancers there. Uh, Maybe 2 Falks? No. He needs out more, more, more rods here, but he's having a sh big struggle here with the Vills. Two TCs probably wasn't the right choice because of that struggle with the Vills. But that's 22 rods right there versus... What do I got? So he's got 22 rods. I got 27 Ulans. 40% hand attack resist. 13 hand attack. 3.5 versus cavalry. I got 44 here. 229 HP. But... Just the pure DPS, the body blocking for the skirms, and look how quickly this goes down. All his rods are dead. He calls out the Lancers, but it's too late. And you just get, ugh. Like, just the DPS. These guys, like, the skirms didn't do that much versus the rods. It was the pure DPS of the Ulans that just tore through those. And that's just, yeah, that's just crazy to me. I still got 19 here. I got 10 skirms here. I think I got more coming. Yeah, seven more skirms. And I haven't even had to build a barracks. I've just one stable, and I'm just shipping dudes. So this is all, like all the, the only good things I've built have been Ulans. And they're just doing an absolute job here with the, 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 the skirmisher shipments as assistance. As assistant? As support. He does go to the church. He's sending two Falks. This ro sending Royal Decree here might have been okay. No. Those Halberdiers would be nice, but I got too many scrims at this point. He is training Falks. Training a Falk here, I understand he's got extra gold, so that's why he's doing it. Uh, but don't think that was the right choice. So he's got two Falks coming in, two Falks trained. He's got 17 rods. 20, no, no, that's, Bash just came out. Yeah, that's a pretty good Falk mass. Very bad micro. I mean, this is just awful micro by me. I totally misclicked. But, just the skirms in the assisting, assisting, the skirms that support against this, missed shot there by the Falks, but I got 13 more Ulans coming. Yeah, I just totally wasted a ton, but I just had more coming because of how good the German eco is, and they, he calls the GG. And it, I, I was like, wow, is this just how I can win games from now on? Can I just ship skirms and train Ulan? So I'm going to try this more. Uh, try this build more. This was my first time doing it, and it worked really well. I'm going to try it more and uh, maybe let people in the Discord know that, yeah, Ulans are totally OP. I think they got five more HP recently in an update. Uh, so that might have helped them a lot, but I'm not sure. But yeah, it just absolutely insane unit. Units killed. I killed 20 more than his. 57 Ulans versus 54 Rodoleros. That's just crazy. That's crazy. And I... Oh, what? I actually had... No, what is this? 
I had less resources. I uh, but what what's uh? Yeah, I had less resources. Three k less. How did? What? Okay, I guess my eco is terrible. I don't know how I have so many less resources. Oh, more coin. That's kind of crazy. Our military sizes were about the same, but the Ulan's just powered through. The Ulan's powered through, man. Uh, I want to see... I, is there a... <coughs> is there a, like... Military unit population? Yeah, look at this difference, though, between the military population. Because this is just... Because while he has, like, equal amount of rods, I got Ulan's, which are two pops. So that's... It, let's look at that. So 97 versus 33 population. And then let's look at uh, military unit count. Oh, no, that's... I feel like this is wrong. That's really weird to me. I guess I just had better shipments. So even though my eco was worse, my shipments did more. But, I mean... German shipments are crazy because the plus Ulans. So yeah, go try out Ulans. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna be honest. There are people calling for nerfs from them, and I'm I'm starting to see that a little bit. I'm starting to see that a little bit. But I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you again next time.